it's Jessica from Mama and a Stitch and today I thought I'd show you how to crochet this gorgeous cluster stitch. It's uh, pretty easy because it's a two row repeat and um, this swatch that I made is done with Lion Brand Yarns Merino Yak Alpaca yarn and it's really gorgeous. But I'm just going to use some other worsted weight yarn to show you how to do it because I tried with that yarn and it wasn't quite showing up on video as well. So I have um, a size H crochet hook and my worsted weight yarn, but you can use any uh, yarn and corresponding hook. And what you will do is simply start by chaining an even number of stitches. So I'm just going to do a small swatch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so for row one, you're going to start by crocheting into the second chain from the hook. So there's your first, there's your second. Make a single crochet. and then single crochet into the next chain. Okay, next you're, you'll chain one, skip the chain below, and single crochet into the next. Okay, chain one, skip a chain, single crochet into the next. And you repeat that across the row all the way to the end until you have three chains left. So I'm already at the end since my uh, chain is so little. And what you'll do here is again chain one, skip this stitch, work a single crochet into the next, and a single crochet into the last stitch. So then the beginning of this row and the end match. Okay, next you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, turn, And this is where we're going to start working the clusters. So you're going to want to find the first chain space, which is right here. We had our two single crochets, here's our chain space. And you're going to work as if you're making a double crochet, so yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the first two loops then we're going to do the same thing. Yarn over, insert into the same space, pull through, then pull through the first two loops only. So now we have three on our hook. Do the same thing, pull through, pull through two. We have four on our hook. Yarn over, last time, pull through two. Once you have five on your hook, then you yarn over, pull through all five, and then chain one. Okay, so you have your first cluster, and we just repeat that across the row. So, find your next chain space, which is right here. Pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. We have three on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And I have five now. Yarn over, pull through all five. And chain one. Okay. 
and we repeat that. Okay, working until the end of the row. Last one. Pull through all. Okay, and at the end, you're going to chain one. You've got these last two stitches here. And you're going to make just a, a double crochet into that last stitch. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And now we just repeat those rows. They look a little different since now you're working into these clusters. So I will show you the next row, which is chain one, turn, work into this very first stitch, make a single crochet, okay, then you're going to single crochet into this, this space here. So you start each row with the two single crochets, then chain one, and from here um, you just work in between the clusters. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet, oop, <laughs> getting a little too excited here. Okay, single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet into the last space and also into the chain. Okay, then you chain four, one, two, three, four, turn, okay, and now we look for the chain space and you work your cluster. Got three on the hook, four, five loops on the hook, pull through all five, chain one. Okay, that's all you do, and you just work this for as long as you want. Um, I really love the fabric. It's, it's pretty dense, so I think it would make a nice baby blanket, um, even dishcloth, uh, really pretty texture. So I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.